Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for May 23 through to May 28. We're starting to see a stepping up in seismic activities over the last few days, with 5.8 earthquakes felt near off the east coast of Honshu, Japan, and also the Kamanic Islands, New Zealand. I do feel with a new coronal hole formation looming, there is a strong possibility of a 6.9 earthquake during this watch. Now looking at the latest telemetry from ACE, we get to see solar wind speeds were at 350 kilometers a second 24 hours ago, moving up rapidly to 460, and they've pretty much remained at these levels. I do expect that these solar wind speeds will drop and then rise suddenly when this new coronal hole becomes in the earth facing position, and that could produce a seismic shock or a significant earthquake potential while these solar winds move and fluctuate. It's been fairly quiet in terms of solar activities during the month of May. This is reflected on the GOES X-ray flux monitor, barely registering B-class flares. We're now looking at the solar terrestrial activity report via solon.info and we get to see a brand new coronal hole formation that's labelled as CH450, just under the equator region. I do feel that there is a significant potential of a large earthquake embedded within this coronal hole. This will be the main focus of my watch. There are also a few other regions based on a few other ionospheric anomalies that will also be mapped and plotted. Now looking at the SDO193 angstrom, and we get to see several solar disturbances in and around the equator region that has contributed to the growth rate of this coronal hole. I do feel that there is a strong potential of a large event embedded within this coronal hole, and I'm going to map these regions now. I have mapped this coronal hole, and I've targeted a region of 6 to 8 degrees south latitude, and my number one area of concern for this watch is the region of Solomon Islands. And my second area of concern is for the region of Indonesia and the southern portion stemming from Sumatra down towards the Banda Sea. And my final area of concern will be the Democratic Republic of Congo or just next door to the border region of Tanzania. We're now looking at the Hanode XRT with Solar Monitor. We do get to see an interesting feature in the southern hemisphere that may play a role in this watch. There's also another area in the northern hemisphere that's perhaps a little bit more easy to plot and that's sitting at 36 degrees north latitude. I do feel there may be a significant earthquake embedded in this hole as well. We're now looking at the SDO composite and the northern hemisphere and we do get to see a few fissures on the solar corona that may produce a significant earthquake during this watch. There is another region here that does appear to be some form of eruption as well. I do feel that the area of concern would be around 36 to 40 degrees north latitude. The main area of concern for the Northern Hemisphere, I feel, will be the region of Europe. I feel that Italy or Greece may be susceptible to a large earthquake, possibly 6.5 in magnitude. My second area of concern would be Hokkaido, Japan. And my final area of concern for the Northern Hemisphere would be the region of Northern California. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation data anomaly, and this is a five day moving average and a fairly good tool in determining possible areas on the globe that may be susceptible to a seismic event. Now we did receive a 4.6 earthquake today in West Australia, followed up by 4.9 just south of the Fiji Islands. It will be interesting to see if we do get any other events in and around Hawaii or Puerto Rico during this watch. Also supporting the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly is the global real time ionospheric map. And this is also situated at 20 degrees north latitude currently at around Taiwan, stretching up towards the top portion of India. Earlier on in the day, it was centred around Honduras and Guatemala, and the major portion was centred in and around the Puerto Rico region. And that's my Earthquake Watch for today, for May 21st, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.